We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. Yo, so what we talking about here? We talking about Kamala being a president. Big Joe stepped down. I mean, you got any thoughts about that? Yeah, you happy Joe stepped the fuck down? Or is I mean, it yeah, one of the things the right we had? Thing, man. He did the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Did, did he take too long? I mean, um, do we think Kamala got a chance against <clears throat> old, old man Trump? Who just took a, took a, you know, took the bullet? I mean, well, any, I mean, the way this is going to go more than likely is anybody who was endorsing Biden, they're going to endorse Kamala. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah. I, listen, I, sure. huh. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and cap like I know what she, I know she was a, if I'm not mistaken, what she was before she was the vice president. She was a she district was attorney. attorney, right? Yeah, she was locking blacks up. That's what I'm saying. She was low, a DA, low. so you know what I mean? I don't, you know. She was putting the boys behind the bars not, for a bag I'm of weed. I'm not too fond of that. Yeah, that's a, yeah we got to get to the nitty gritty of Kamala because before she became vice president, we had a lot to, not we, but it was a lot of, you know, red flags about her and her and the way she approached certain things, and especially when it came to our people. And then she became the vice president and reached out to our people for our vote. And now you the president and you're going to reach out to our people again for our vote. But is it one of them things where it's like, yo, we only going to rock with her because we don't. No, Mel says she already raised $200 million. <clears throat> and, and I, a, I think it was a day, right, Mel? Who run the, Who run the world? Girls. Who run the world? <laughs> Girls. Girls. You know I mean? Shout out to her. Shout out to her, bro. One, 1. 1.5 in two days. That's a lot of money. Shit like that. That's a lot of a lot money, of bro. Money. <laughs> yeah, it's one of And that all yeah, comes down to, is it, you know, <clears throat> is it because we don't want to see Donald Trump in office? I mean, listen. Those type of things, but. Um, I, I had something I wanted to say on it because I don't want to uh, be passive. It, That's not going to help us out. You know what I mean? Uh, in this world, being passive and scared to, you know, talk about tough things. This is cut the cap. Um, I mean, <clears throat> you're not going to just get my vote to have my vote. Nobody's getting my vote to have my vote. You know what I mean? I'm very stubborn with my vote. So, uh Let's see what she got, you know what I mean? Let's see what she, you know what I mean? What she, what she gonna do for us? Okay. And then, you know, we can deal with that accordingly. That's how I'm gonna go about it, you know what I mean? You won't get my vote, my wife vote. You won't get our vote until we know what's what, you know what I mean? I don't want broken promises. I want somebody to be, I don't want this to be a charade neither, you know what I mean? I mean, um, yeah. <clears throat> you know, I don't want this to be, you know, I don't want us to be out there cooning. You know what I mean? The There's presidency. There's a lot of cooning going on right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The presidency is serious. This is serious. This is, you know what I mean? This is, this, to me, this is life or death in, in certain ways. You know what I mean? So, for a lot of people. So, I just want to, you know what I mean? See what she got. Let's hear her out. You know what I mean? Before we, uh, you know, throw a stone at her or cast her away. You know what I mean? And not give her a fair chance. You know what I mean? Got you. What Steven said? Um, instead of <laughs> jailing those black men, she put them back and reform school if you look at her numbers only 45 black men went to jail for we more than the legal amount okay you gotta do a fact check on that wait hold on instead of jailing those black men she put them back in reform school if you look at her numbers only 45 black men went to jail for we more than the legal amount okay if that is a fact, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't got much knowledge of that. Know what I'm saying, I know, I know she was a DA beforehand. So, all right. My last question is: This is real brief because we're gonna get off this. Would y'all want to see a female president? I do. I think it's time for change. Wait, hold on. What you mean change? A female president. We never had a female president. I oh, want to okay. see a female president. 
I want to see a female president run the world. I think it's time for change. A lot of people say they don't want that. So, if it had to be, it had oh. to be. I, w- I would like to see it. That's tough. Uh, I, I, listen, I'm going to say this again. <laughs> I don't care if you're green, orange, whatever you are. You could be an owl. You could be whatever you <laughs> You could be whatever. As long as you able to take on the tough decisions that a president has to take on and are willing to step up and help and really say what say what you mean and mean what you say, then that's cool. I never had a problem with a female or male or heteros, whatever, you know, all these different don't matter to me, bro. Just do your job, bro, and and, and cause right now we, we not in the best place, man. So yeah, I don't really care, man. But it is cool for females to see for them, you know, to see what what uh you know finally have they uh, a female in the office. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, man. Let's let's uh, let's hear what you got to say and bro, you know, and what's going yeah. on, man. It was crazy. Yeah. I, I I know we can't play a clip, but I was watching uh, I was watching something on TMZ, and one of the reporters on I think it was Fox Fox Business. I don't know what state. He said Kamala Harris was the original Hawk Two girl. Ain't they no say way. She, nah, because she they say girl. you know she was part of the scandals, and they saying that you know she did this, she did that to get where she was at. <laughs> I, yo, people will say anything, bro. Like, I don't <laughs> believe she just sucked a few dicks and yeah. she became the vice president. Like, you got to do more than that, b. Like, the lady <laughs> actually did something. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> Dribble got a point though. <laughs> Fifteen dollars for a big bag right now is crazy. Like, yo, it's out of pocket, man. You know what I mean? And come out, look, bring that down five ninety nine. She got your vote. <laughs> Dom, this, that's out of pocket. People can't afford it. Yo, the, <laughs> yo, listen, yo, y'all know this already, man. They had to make value meals. They everybody's doing it now, like the five for five, the four for five, because yeah, people Wendy's. couldn't afford to get this stuff. Yo. Man, I see who was it? Uh, Wendy's. Yeah, I think Wendy, Wendy's is tight about that shit. Everybody, yeah, everybody Wendy's trying, is tight. They might try to jack us, man. They try to jack our flow, man. Wendy's people, had that shit first, B. Even Nike got to bring their prices down. People starving out here, man. Change. I know we all keep saying change and change and da da da, but I man, right now we we effed up, man. We we everybody effed up, man. Yeah, I mean, but it's mind, the opposite man. though, because every if you think about it, everything is going up. Inflation is high. So it is. Inflation we got to bring high. that down, man. We got to we got to get back right, man. You can't buy a house right now. You can't buy. It's tough to get a car right now because everything is like you said. That's a fact. Everything is up. Don't let yeah, Trump man. come back again. Trump gonna get y'all some more free money, and the inflation gonna be higher again. And we ain't gonna be able to afford shit. 